We are so glad to have you all here today. We know all of you are very busy, so we will try to keep this presentation short and useful for you, as you can see. We are going to talk about white bean milk. We have divided this presentation into three main parts. First, we will give you the benefits of white bean milk. Then next, we will give you the benefits of soybean milk. Last, we will explain the differences between white bean milk and soybean milk. Please feel, feel free to ask us any question at the end of this presentation. Now, I'm going to talk about the white bean milk. The white bean milk is composed of an enzyme called pasiolamine. This enzyme has many health benefits, such as to help control weight by reducing triglyceride levels and inhibiting the digestion of carbohydrates. It also helps prevent spinal problems and last, it also can help spinal problems and last, it can help control high blood sugar. White bean milk can help prevent spinal problems such as Osteoporosis. White bean milk can help reduce blood sugar levels and prevent diabetes. And now I want to talk about soybean milk. The soybean is mainly composed of protein and carbohydrate. Soybean milk is very beneficial, is nourishing the blood, thereby preventing high blood pressure, heart disease, and headache. It also can help reduce blood sugar levels. Soybean milk can help give you healthier blood and heart. Soybean milk can help prevent headache from occurring. The white, the white bean and the soybean can also help reduce blood sugar level and prevent diabetes. Now, let's talk about the differences between white bean milk and soybean milk. If you want to control your weight, also prevent spinal issues like osteoporosis, then white bean milk is a better choice. But if you want to reduce your blood pressure and have a healthier heart, then soybean milk is a better choice. The conclusion of our presentation on white bean milk. In conclusion, both white bean milk and soybean milk has many health benefits and should be part of everyone's diet. That conclusion, our presentation on white bean milk. And now, do you have any questions? It's about the product of uh, the milk uh, they put inside. It's, it's not about the uh, white bean, white bean. Maybe uh, some milk, they, they doesn't put any sugar inside. No sugar is, and some milk, they put sugar is about 
how they make It's osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is uh, inside uh, we get from white bean meal. It's only one enzyme they have in white bean. White bean. Could you get back to your slide? You said it will prevent osteoporosis, right? Wait, wait. Eat the inside while you prevent it. Osteoporosis is a. Uh, you get sick about your bone. How? How? It's broken? It's not really broken, it's. Uh, damn it. It's like a. How damage is this? Saying that the bone is not strong, right? Yes or no? Yes. What is the problem of the osteoporosis? Why it becomes a problem? Why we have to prevent it? We prevent it because it's not good, right? Why it's bad? It's Allow me to take a look at the pictures. Maybe because it, I can say from the picture that the, the bone or the skeleton is not strong, right? Yes. This could be an explanation. So anytime you talk about technical term, technical words like this, you have to explain. And diabetes, what is diabetes? If you have explained, it's going to be easier. I'm sure some of the audience, they don't know what is uh, the arthritis is or what is the diabetes is. So you take the technical term, give them easy words too. Okay, that's it. Thank you.
Yes, that's correct. But it, uh, the video phase we talk about is about prevent uh, blood, high blood pressure. Both of uh, this can help. That, that, but that's correct also. Thank you for your attention. 